of doing a video on top 10 videos. I actually did a video on this guy once before, a long time ago, just to kind of, it was basically just to say his situation and what he's doing at the time, and how bad he was doing, basically. And now I've, I've recently heard some news that he's doing even worse than he was back then. And I made a list just to, to remember and make sure I go everything here of what's been going on with him lately. So the first thing is, well, he's actually, I have a, this channel right here too, so I can reference it when I need to on my phone here. He's been doing some random series lately. For some reason, you know, he's running out of ideas because, you know, he's been milking things quite a lot within the past few months. He's been doing why people hate certain people. And when those videos ran out, when he ran out of famous people to do it on, or really famous people, I guess, he didn't really do it on, on smaller people. They had to have a lot of subs for him to do it on. When he ran out of people like that, he, he's starting to run out of ideas. So now he's doing videos like, I'm just scrolling down the list here, things or, or videos you didn't know a certain YouTuber had. He's been doing a lot of those lately. There's one, two, three, three of them right there. And I'm scrolling down his channel here, and then he even has some more sightings of uh, big YouTubers in real life. He started that now. And he's been doing that w somebody hates on a big YouTuber, and he makes a video off of them just to get more money, profiting off of someone's opinion. <laughs> Which is complete bullcrap. And then right here, what else do we have here? A lot of the crap he's been doing, you know, he's, he's obviously running out of ideas and desperate for money. Which, you know, that should have been obvious a long time ago. Yeah, sightings of people in real life, random junk, secrets about big YouTubers. He just looks in the background of their face cam or something. And he'll make up speculation. I never even bothered watching any of them. I just see him right here. I think, oh my god, is he desperate. He's been doing secret videos. He's running out of ideas, and he's been starting some strange and new series coming up. Because, you know, money. He needs some money. He's running out of ideas. Another thing. He used to have, if you go to the oldest videos on his channel, you can, you know, when you go on his videos, you can search that in there. And filter that. Go for the oldest videos he has on his channel. And. <coughs> the videos he used to have on there, he used to have some old gameplay videos, you know, from when he was just starting out. But I just looked. They're completely gone. All gone. All deleted. All of his early videos when he was starting out on YouTube, gone. Completely deleted for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe he doesn't want people to see him or something, but... They are all completely gone now. So, I have no idea why. I have no idea why he did that. Don't know the reason. Because as far as I know, he's not said anything about that. Just completely gone deleted. And there's even some other ones. I think some of this videos, top 10, whatever, the top whatever videos, I think some of those he even deleted too. But I don't know, they're all gone now, so how can you tell? And he's now almost at 500,000 subs. He's been exploding lately. Well, not really lately, I guess. Kind of gradually within the past few months here. Since that last video I made on him. Which has been a, a quite a few months, I think, now, I believe. He's basically exploded himself. At the time I'm making this, he, he's literally, right now as I make sure I get this right, 499,844 subs it says on here. So he's literally at 5,000, or 500,000 subs. And he, I remember when I made the previous video, he was, I think about 250,000, I think. It's been a while. And by then, or way back then, months ago, whenever I made that, he was really gaining subs. He was literally gaining maybe thousands of subs in a day or a week. He gained 10,000 subs in a week. He was blowing up because he, that's what his channel is. Money hungry viral videos. That's about all it is. All his videos will go viral, gain a bunch of more subs. And now he's almost at 500,000. It's been in, in months. He's, his channel has doubled in size. I remember he even had 200,000 a little bit before I made my, that video on him. He had about 200,000 subs. 
and he was up to the time I made that video, what is it, 250? He was there in no time. I think it could have been only a month. 50,000 subs in a month. He's he's relatively exploding, and I'm not sure if he's doing so much now because I'm making this video and he's not doing so well anymore, but he he, he definitely is gaining subs way too fast. You know, he does not deserve that many. Like a lot of people, there's a lot of people that don't deserve that money, but especially him, he's a huge example of that. I mean, if you're going to make viral videos and crappy videos too, look at him. All his videos are, which I've probably said this before, or maybe not though, because that video wasn't really why he sucks or anything. It was one big reason. His videos are just random gameplay from random games he records and plays, and he puts that in a video and talks over it. Not the best videos. Not very that good. And people might say to me that mine aren't that good, but I mean, it's not like mine are a podcast. His is, it has to be entertaining. The visuals should be. But it, random gameplay of random games is not, it's stuff that's already been done before. So, it's not like he does really good videos, so having 500,000 subs is not really deserving him. He, he really just doesn't deserve that. And lately, what's been going on, he's been getting lots of hate on his recent, on most of his videos, you know, he has those recent videos with the terrible thumbnails, with the jigs, a big uh, uh, X over the person's face he's doing it on. Yeah, those videos, with the stupid thumbnails, those ones he's been doing, I think those ones get the most hate. He has to say why people hate this person, even though he supports them in the video, himself, and he, those videos apparently have been getting hate or something. And he can't handle all the hate, and for some reason he's been disabling. I haven't seen any yet, but I'm sure he has. I, I haven't been looking very thoroughly. I mean, i got better things to do than that. But from what I've heard, he's been disabling ratings on some of his videos. Because he can't take the hate he's getting from them. And he's been deleting videos, just like I mentioned earlier. All his old videos are gone. I'm not sure if he was doing that because of the hate on him. Probably not, just because he didn't want people to see him or something. But I have no idea, like I said earlier. And he's been deleting them because of the hate. And then again, I can't I can't prove that because if they deleted, I can't find them. Can't find no proof of that. But unless someone has a screenshot or something, which I haven't seen, not like I bother looking. It's not like I, I follow this guy or anything. He's been disabling the ratings like I just talked about. Yeah, he, apparently he just can't handle all the hate. Not like you know. I guess you wouldn't really expect getting a whole lot from videos where you're, you're saying why people hate somebody he definitely he tries to minimize it by by saying in each video almost every single video he does why people hate somebody he supports the person he's doing the video on which makes it totally what do you call it counterintuitive which is a word I do not use often but I guess that's the proper term for it is supporting the person you're doing a hate video on I guess that's his way of minimizing hate, even though we still get some, which I'm kind of glad. Kind of glad he does. He mean, he don't really deserve a lot of a lot of people liking him. You know, I prefer if he gets all the hate in the world. <laughs> well, maybe not that much. I mean, he definitely has room for improvement. Not like I like this guy or anything, but there's a lot of places he needs to work on. And I've I've also heard through some rumors lately that. The regular guy that's been doing the videos might get fired or something. You know, if, if you've been watching this video, especially the more recent ones, within the past month or so, I don't know, recent videos, I guess I'll just say, him, he's been alternating out with different guys that talk in the video. I have no idea why, but I, I remember when it first started happening, people thought, who the hell is this person? talking where it happened to the original guy who was always there which was there in the older videos not the more recent ones people wonder what happened and then I had to mention it in one of the videos I saw that they're just working for him or something they're just working with him and so they do the videos too apparently because you know he's got money just like Good Mythical Morning which I've done another video on actually two videos on I'm probably going to do a third one because they're getting worse and worse just like them, you know, they gotta distribute the whole money. If if you're if you're making that much money that they're making that fast, you gotta distribute it with people. 
just hoarding it all yourselves is 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 not it doesn't show good things to the fans. Fans don't want to see that. And if they do find out, they ain't gonna be happy. I bet most of them won't. But some of them are so some of them are so screwed up on the Good Mythical Morning fan base over there that they probably won't care. But the ones that do care, they ain't gonna like it, so that's why they gotta distribute the money. And he's doing the same thing. Top ten videos is doing the same thing, distributing money between people, because he's making so much, but everyone does calculations on him. So many of his videos go viral, some of them go half viral, and a lot of them kind of fail compared to other ones, so it's kind of hard to do, to do calculations on how much money he's making because the, the views aren't really that constant with this guy. There's a huge variety between all the views he's making, so it's going to be pretty hard if you want to get an amount of money he's making, but I guess it's possible if you take everything into factor, which I'm not going to bother doing. I might in the future if I have time, though, and if he gets... If he gets more constant, constant um, views on his videos, but apparently he might be getting fired. The original guy that was with all the early videos and everything might get getting fired because of his the videos he made in the past or something. I'm not really sure because he he's just getting the hate and the the new the other people that are doing videos with him. Some of the other people that are doing videos with him suck too. You can barely understand them because they have such the the, the strange accents they have is barely understandable. That's why I, I personally prefer the original guy, even though I hate some of the crap he does, like calling me your boy, or, or calling him my boy or something every, at the beginning of every video, which there's like that. I don't like that. There's a lot of things I don't like that he does when I see one of his videos, but at least I can understand him, unlike some other people that, that do the videos for him when they alternate in between each other. I can barely understand because their accents are so strange and weird. But I mean, that's the only good thing I think about the other guys that I can understand them. <laughs> All the other crap they do, it sucks. So, I mean, if he does get fired, eh. Hopefully they get somebody in that I can understand and actually watch a video without having to figure out and decipher all the words he's saying. Which, that sucks. I've never had to do that before, it sucks. But yeah, I don't know, maybe, it, I think it's just because the hate he got in the past for those videos is just, it's, it's getting too much because, you know, they have to delete it and, and disable ratings. And so that's why they're going to get rid of him. Maybe do different videos in the future. Well, since they're running out of ideas already, I don't know how that's going to work out for him. I mean, if you're running out of ideas now, that's not a good sign for the future. And just a quick thing I'm going to touch on, I saw Miss Little Morning. Good Mythical Morning, who I just talked about a little bit ago. They did a video not too long ago called... Oh, God, what was it again? Smelling Other People's Pee, or something like that. I don't know the exact title, but it was... That's what all the video was about, is just smelling other people's pee. And I thought to myself when I clicked on that... Which maybe I shouldn't have clicked on in the first place. <laughs> But, you know, sometimes I have nothing to watch, so I just bother making fun of them while I'm watching them and thinking how stupid they are, but... I thought... How desperate do you gotta be for smelling other people was pee for money? And they try detecting what they have eaten beforehand. Apparently that affects how your pee is, and they smell and try to detect it. And, oh my god, I thought, how desperate are you are? Or, how, how desperate can you be? if you need to smell other people's pee for money. Now that, that right there is a sign that you're running out of ideas. I mean, top ten, I mean, he's got, compared to Good Mythical Morning, he ain't smelling pee. He's doing crappy videos, but Steve, he, he ain't smelling pee. So, you know, that's, compared to them, top ten videos is actually doing fine. Because Good Mythical Morning is going downhill very, very fast. <laughs> Might even have to do another video on them in the future just because they're doing so bad right now, but I wonder how they're going to do in the future. It's just, when you start doing that, you know you're not doing too well.